Welcome to Oscar's Bar. What can I get you? Pint of Guinness, coming right up. Beautiful day, isn't it? Oh, we're out of Guinness. Right, enough monkeying around. Welcome back to another video, guys. When I last left you, yeah, I was waiting for Not All Paul to come do the plastering. Now, he is still coming, but before that, I want to get the flooring down. Now, I know what you might be thinking. Why are you putting the flooring down before Not All Paul's come to do the plasterboard? Well, there's a good reason for that, because in a couple of weeks, we've got some friends coming, and I want to have a soft launch of Oscar's new bar. But if I'm not coming down for two weeks, and the plasterboard's getting done next week, then why am I doing the flooring now? Well, I'll tell you more about that in a second. First, there's a few jobs I want to get finished on the outside. So since the last video, we've managed to get most of the external done. There's just a couple of bits left to do. So I've just done my usual trip to B&Q to get, yet again, more timber. And more flooring. So I've had to get two lengths of this because I've got a four meter span and these only come in three meters. But that'll give me a nice overlap here and then a final filling piece at the end. So when I first did this four years ago, towards the end I was on a bit of a budget. So what I end up doing is using soft wood, tongue and groove cladding to do this board underneath and it's not really the best. The light have corroded and also as things have warped and bent in the sun they've kind of popped out of place. So what I'm going to do this time, I'm going to take off this first run tongue and groove so we can get these new boards up there and then when I come to the final finishing touches of this bar I'm going to replace this and this with some proper soffit and fascia boards which will be nice anthracite grey It'll just finish off this bar, make it look really professional like it deserves to. But that will be in another video. So hopefully this should fit perfectly. Hmm, there might be some trimming required. So it actually fits really nicely, except there's just a couple of joists here where I need to maybe trim out about five mil, just to allow a little bit of space there, there, and there. Right, time to break out the DeWalt tools. New video, still lying in exactly the same place, same position. Honestly, he's not dead. Are you, son? No, still alive, still with us. Good lad. Come to daddy. Right, so I'm just gonna trim a couple of notches with a jigsaw and then chisel the rest out. Should only take two minutes, let's crack on. Ah, oh, bollocks. What a tool. Anyway, nothing we can do now, except paint over it. So hopefully this now will fit up there, nice and flush. Like a glove. Right, now I just need to measure this last piece. 91 centimetres, or just under three foot if you're American. Right. Time for the nail gun, I think.
Nice. So in true British weather style, it started raining. I was just about to give it a quick coat of rain, a quick coat of rain, a quick coat of paint, and it's raining. But that's not going to stop us. Change of plan, it might stop us. Let's get inside. Oh, Jesus. Bloody hell, every time you try to start and do something out there, it rains. The last video it was red hot. This video, it's peeing down thunderstorms again. You might be able to hear that. Anyway, while that's sorting itself out, let me tell you guys about what's gonna go on inside of here over the next few days slash few weeks, because this video is gonna be recorded over a couple of weeks, and there's a reason for that. So as I mentioned earlier, Not Tall Paul is coming next weekend to do the plastering. But before then, I'm going away. I'm off to Disneyland. So that's gonna be really nice, but that's gonna mean I've got no time to work on this between now and when our friends come in a couple of weeks time. So to save a little bit of time, what I'm gonna do is lay the flooring now before Paul comes next week. What that'll do is it'll mean when we come back from Disneyland, the flooring will be down, all of this will be plasterboarded, and it'll be one joined united room. Then that means we can paint it. Thundering now. Anyway, what was I saying? Yeah, so that means we can paint it, which means... Did you hear that? Right, what was I saying? Let me wind that back a minute. So if the plasterboard's plastered, and the flooring's down, and the plaster's dried out, then when we get back from Disneyland, we can paint these walls and make this one joined up United room once again. I can do the electrics really quickly, sockets and lights, and then, we can install the disco ball. Oh yes, the disco ball. And then what all of that'll mean is, for not next weekend, but the weekend after, apart from the fixer and fittings in terms of furniture and the extra things we're gonna to do to the bar, this room will be ready for a party. Nice. But while that's sorting itself out there, I'm gonna go down here, get on my knees and fill in this five mil crack. So when I put this flooring down, and the new flooring, for some reason, there's a bit of a five mil lip on it. So it's not lying exactly flush, which is what you want if you're laying this flooring across. Now I don't know if that's because I bought slightly thicker floorboards the second time round, or whether there's a slight discrepancy in the joists when I've laid it. Multiple reasons, it was four years ago, I'm not quite sure. I think most likely is that I've got two slightly different floorboards. This was an 18 mil, this could possibly be 12 mil, which is why there's a five mil gap. 18, 12, 12 minus 18, that's four mil. No, it's six mil. Anyway, there's a discrepancy. So if we're gonna lay this new flooring down, this needs to be level and flush. If there's a bit of a lip here, then there's gonna be a springiness to this. And we all know this is gonna be the dance floor. And what we don't want on here, when we're busy putting our shapes, is a springy dance floor. That's right. So what I'm gonna do is get a planer and see if I can feather out this floorboard just so it has a smaller contour, contour, gradation, gradation, gradient. That's the word I'm looking for. A smaller gradient across here. And what that's gonna allow is when I lay this flooring with the underlay underneath, which is gonna add probably another two or three mil, a smooth transition from one floor to the other. And we all love a smooth transition. So to do that, we've got this bad boy. So this is a rather dirty Bosch electric planer. This thing will take your fingers, your hand, and your arm off, if you're not careful. Look at that bad boy. So hopefully, if we're very careful with this, we can take off that five mil lip, feather that out a little bit, add a gradient, and then 
we can crack on with relaying this flooring. Right. Now what I do need to do is just make sure there's no screws along this edge. So I'm not going to be trying to plane any brass or metal screws because if I do, the person who I've lent this tool off will not be happy. Safety goggles on. It generally scares me this thing. Right. Let me unplug this and see if I can lower the blade a little bit more. What I might have to do is take up the flooring one row so I can get a clean run this way at it. Give me two minutes and I'll figure it out. Right guys, I think we're done. Let me bring you down and show you. So, we've just used the electric planer, this absolutely savagely dangerous power tool. Let me switch it off the wall so we don't have any accidents. It's too early in the morning to be having accidents. So, I've just gone along and planed the lip off that now. You can see those two floorboards join lovely and flush now. Whereas before there was like a big five mil gap. So we've taken all of this off. So that now should give us a smooth transition. A smooth transition? A smooth transition. So if any of you have laid flooring before or generally spend a lot of time on your knees banging stuff, the knee pads are essential. So this flooring is a lot easier to go together than the old stuff. I remember the first time I laid laminate flooring, it was glue. It was a nightmare. Anyway, let's crack on with this. I managed to get four boards down in like 60 seconds because it goes down so quick, but I can't go any further across with this flooring until I move that bar over here on that little space, that little island there. So, next job, move that bloody bar back over there and then insulation down, last run of the floor from this end bit and then bish bash bosh, we should be done. So, let's get on with that. Welcome to Oscar's Bar, what can I get you? Pint of Guinness, coming right up. Beautiful day, isn't it? Oh, we're out of Guinness. Right, enough monkeying around. Let's get this bar over here. I mentioned earlier the word of the day is juxtaposition, and that's exactly what we're doing. Juxtapositioning all of this to make room for the flooring. So the first thing to do is move the bar back over into the corner so we've got space to run down the first run of insulation. This is fairly straightforward to so just fold it out, trim it with a standing knife, and just make sure it lines to the old insulation. Laying the flooring down is a fairly repetitive process. A few trims made easy work with my jigsaw. We can then get the corner pieces done and start running the rest of the flooring. The flooring goes down pretty straightforward, it just clips in, and a couple of taps of the hammer just helps to clip it in place. Then we can move on to the end pieces, which are fairly easy, especially with the help of Oscar overseeing, and a few cuts again with my jigsaw. This then meant we could lay the insulation down on the second half of the room, laying it down again, just folding it out and then giving it a quick trim with a standing knife just to line it up with the previous stuff. Finally, we could then crack on, opening up a new pack of flooring, that's three packs now in total, to do the last couple of boards and the final few runs. The last few pieces just need a trim with a jigsaw and then, finally, we can put the last board in place. And boom guys, just like that, flooring's done. Right. Time for a little tidy up, and I'll show you the finished result. Well, semi-finished result. Right guys, and there we go. Flooring is complete and clean. And you can tell it's clean because shoes off, very important. So it's unbelievable 
no matter the state of a room or how finished the rest of the room is, until the flooring's down, it never really completes a room. Now I know obviously the walls still need plasterboard and it still needs painting, but it's amazing what difference just having the flooring down makes to the feel of the space. So really, really pleased with that. And it went down fairly easily. The only one tiny thing that's a bit of a pain in the backside is that for whatever reason, there's a little chip here. Now, whether I've done that after I've installed it or whether it was chipped when I put it in, but because it was sawdust all over here because I was cutting over here, I've missed it, but it's right in the middle of the floor. So the only way to get that up would be to literally take pretty much two thirds of the floor up. So I'm not that bothered. I'm sure I can get a little marker pen and fill it in. But other than that, really, really pleased. So today is actually Oscar's 13th birthday. So in homage to Oscar, who's not dead yet, but will be at some point in the future, and then it will be a homage bar, we're gonna have a drink in here with Oscar tonight. But before we do that, there's two more final jobs I wanna to do today to get this bar where I want it to be before I hand it over to Not Tall Paula Plasterer, and that is outside. So come with me. Let's give this a quick lick of paint. Next job. So I've got a decision to make here now. Do I do it level to the spirit level, plum level, or do I do it level to these boards that actually aren't 100% level, or do I do it level to the eye? Hmm. Right, let's go and have a drink and celebrate Oscar's birthday. And here he comes now. So, join me in raising a glass to Oscar on his 13th birthday. Happy birthday, Oscar, my little man-dog friend. Oh, lovely. Right, well, I'm gonna finish this, and then I need to go and get packed for Disneyland. See you in a bit. Hmm. Lovely. I wonder if Not Tall Paul's done my plastering yet. He better not have made a mess. 